Today, uh, I'd like to share with you some of the topic is regarding the antimicrobial. Okay, I hope everyone can see the screen right now. So uh, just a very quick introduction. My name is Ching Yang. I'm from Polymer Material. Uh, we are the Singapore-based uh, manufacturer R&D solution provider. So basically, we are manufacturing of uh, antimicrobial materials and also the advanced engineering plastic in Singapore. So actually, we are partnering with A Star since 2016, and uh, our material, the technology, actually is developed and patented by A Star, and we are the licensed manufacturer to make it commercialized. So before we go to the topic. So I would like to share with everyone on the line right now uh, why antimicrobial material now is very important to the IAQ. So as you know that everyone right now, the hygiene awareness actually is uh, quite in the peak as compared to the, the last few years because of our invincible enemy right now is getting dangerous, especially on the viruses, bacterial, because according to a lot of the study that this kind of viruses, bacteria, more that actually cause us, our human, a lot of a trouble, dangerous disease, and they can persist on the surface for days, numbers of days, which means that uh, based on one of the study that uh, more than 80% of the infection disease actually starting from the surface contact. As you know that during this pandemic, a lot of people that they are keep cleaning on their surface, especially on the hygiene uh, requirement. It's very high area, especially in the child care, in the elders care, public transport. These are the high traffic area that you have a very high chance on the cross contamination caused by this kind of a very dangerous viruses, bacterial and also the fungi. So this is why the uh, awareness on the hygiene and the demand on the antimicrobial material is getting higher right now. So this is why we also have a developed um, one of our new generation of the antimicrobial material. Uh, I'd like to share with everyone online today because this technology actually is a developed and patented by A Star Singapore. Who is A Star Singapore? A-Star actually is the Singapore uh, National R&D Agency, which is, uh, I mean, it's quite robust kind of uh, R&D organization. They have developed this kind of a new generation of uh, antimicrobial features, not only against to the bacterial, fungi, and viruses, and also have a degradation uh, function on the formaldehyde and the VOC. So as we know that this is very special kind of additive material that come in five features, which is bacterial, fungi, virus, and also formaldehyde and VOC kind of uh, prevention. At the same time, this kind of, uh, we call it germ armor material, actually is a very uh, special kind of mechanism, we call it self-catalyzed, which means they only re require react with the uh, oxygen and also the moisture react with the, this germ armor material. It will release kind of the uh, ROS, which means the reactive oxygen species. This will able to again kill the bacteria, fungi, virus, uh, degradation of the formaldehyde and also VOC. These are the very common pollutants you can find in the this kind of uh, indoor air quality issue and challenge. And the good thing is this material is also is a uh, quite innovative kind of material because it is a natural component, non-toxic, no chemical releasing, and also very important thing is a no drug resistant. Over here, I want to spend a little bit time to explain what is the drug resistant. Because as you know that uh, now our, uh, a lot of the challenge we're facing right now that a lot of the disease, a lot of the very strong bacteria or viruses, they hardly have 
the normal antibiotic hardly to able to control them. So this is the issue that because of the overuse of the toxic chemicals, overuse of the chemicals in our life, that's why make these bacteria or viruses become very stronger and then immune to those available antimicrobial material right now. So the good thing is this germ armor material, which is the, we design in that way that they don't trigger any drug resistant issue, which is they're able to kill the virus and also the, the bacteria very effectively. So over here, I like to compare some of the, I mean, the common antimicrobial material available in the market. Uh, they are basically in two kinds of the antimicrobial material, which is organic antimicrobial material. Commonly, we call that is the biocide material, biocide chemical. So another type, we call it the inorganic antimicrobial material, which is more on the metal composite. So over here, I'd like to share with you in this table, uh, there are the comparison between germ armor material and also the other famous material like the silver and also the titanium dioxide. So this material very commonly used in many paint industry, coating and also the furniture flooring industry. So over here, there's a pro and cons. It depends on the application. So why germ armor right now have a better option compared to other? Uh, not only the we are the natural component, we are not releasing any toxic chemical, and we do provide the long-term activity as compared to those uh, silver-based and biocide-based kind of antimicrobial because they are still they are rather short lifetime. So for our material, uh, we did an isolation test that we are potentially can up to 10 years kind of long-term activity in pain application, especially in the indoor pain. So, and then our material is also very effective, it's under dark or light or dry and wet. As compared to the photocatalytic material, uh, which is, is also very good kind of antimicrobial material, but they have a deficiency when come to the indoor application, especially those in the very uh, less sunlight exposure, uh, less ventilation. So this kind of area tend to be not so efficiency to use the photocatalytic antimicrobial material. When they use the silver, uh, silver or biocide kind of antimicrobial, they tend to have a very short lifetime, me meaning that every two, three years, they have to repaint again, change again, which is cause a lot of the uh, maintenance kind of cost will be increased. So these are the some of the key comparison. So, and this germ armor material also have a very good efficacy to those very dangerous kind of a bacteria like the E. coli areas, uh, albicans, uh, like superbugs bacteria like MRSA, and also very dangerous kind of influenza A virus. We do have a very good a uh, lot reduction curing rate and this is very i mean we also receive a lot of the inquiry from the pain and coating this kind of uh, industry manufacturer they are very interested with our performance now we are in touch with them to how to work together and develop a new pain product so over here i like to share some of our potential area and also uh, we are constantly co-developed with this kind of uh, industry manufacturer. The objective is to provide a better IAQ kind of uh, uh, improvement. So over here in the air condition, those filter, air filter, as uh, Dr. Suresh mentioned early, nowadays the air filter, they're also using some of the metal composite actually to create this kind of uh, antimicrobial features. So these are the areas we can uh, open and work with uh, this kind of industry manufacturer. And also early on, Yaling did share with us that uh, one of the key uh, IAQ improvement is design in the uh, IAQ in the early stage, which means a lot of the commercial building, which they have a lot of the centralized kind of uh, air, air con. His work ducting is one of the area is have a very challenging maintenance kind of uh, uh, 
uh, I mean the practice. Because once you install over there, you hardly tear down to clean. And even the access to do the maintenance cleaning is also limited. So these are the area that our material can work with the coating company. They apply on this uh, antimicrobial coating before the HVAC ducting they, they fabricate. So, and also in the interior wall that we are working with a, a lot of the international paint company right now, constantly try to look into the uh, opportunity to re replace the existing biocide kind of antimicrobial material, which will give them a more safer, uh, environmental friendly, and also the, the very high degradation on the formaldehyde and also VOC. And also we constantly work with the flooring company and also the furniture on those adhesive material, which is we can blend in our antimicrobial material to resolve them a lot of the VOC issue. So another area that we also have this kind of uh, spray coating technology, which is shared by Yaling early that we're able to uh, create kind of a transparent antimicrobial layer on those high touch area. So this material actually is very applicable on those wood surface, glass surface, metal surface, uh, plastic textile, which means almost as all kind. It will create kind of a semi-permanent kind of the uh, antimicrobial layer has a secondary uh, cross contamination prevention. You, you still need to do the daily cleaning, but interval there will be have a second layer of protection to prevent kind of the uh, cleaning residue or some of the uh, anti -mi the, the microbial that you small until you hardly see then you have a second layer of the protection to able to eliminate this kind of a dangerous virus and also the bacteria and this material is also is a non-toxic no chemical releasing and the very good thing is a no drug resistant so these are high touch area that constantly right now, a lot of the resort, hotel, and also the tra public transport, um, salon, they are constantly calling us to work together how to improve the, uh, not only the indoor air quality and also the overall kind of uh, hygiene. Uh, with the objective is, we hope that uh, we work together protect your loved one from the cross-contamination disease. So this is the end of my uh, sharing. So if you like to know more about our solution, feel free to drop us an email over here, info at polymore.sg. So thank you. Thank you everyone.